When you're installing your post onto a level surface, the tools you're going to require are a cordless drill or impact, a speed square, a pencil, tape measure, level, and your rubber mallet. When first finding the position of your post, you never want to be any closer than a quarter of an inch from the base plate to the edge of the deck just to ensure that the base cover will not overhang. Here we're, we've got an inch and a quarter on this side and we'll center it and we'll mirror it on the other side, so an inch and a quarter there. Using our speed square, we'll ensure our post is square on the deck, going in both directions at that inch and a quarter measurement. And then using our pencil, we will trace out our base plate just in case anything moves so we know exactly where it needs to go back into. When installing your post onto a composite or a wood deck, we recommend to use a two and a half inch by three quarter inch spack screw. And into cement, we uh, recommend to use a two and a half inch by three quarter inch tap con screw with washers. Once your post is firmly attached to the top of our deck, we want to check to see if our posts are plumb on at least two adjoining sides. Using your composite shims, loosen up on the sides you need to adjust. and then retighten your spack screws. Check your post once again. This may take a few attempts to make sure that you get this post perfectly straight. Once your post is secure and plumb, you can go ahead and snap off your composite shims. With our three and a half inch two-piece base covers, you can install these at any point in time during the installation. If you're using a four inch one-piece base cover, you would want to do this right now before you put any rails or anything else on the post. Using a number one square drive and the half inch painted screws, you would just go ahead and attach those down here on the side. We do recommend putting your post cap on last as it could interfere with your templates for your brackets. When placing your post cap, normally try to get it as close to being square on top and then you might need to just use a rubber mallet to just seat that all the way down and it should pop on very snug.